is up, Breasties. It's your girl, Jessica Mercedes, and today is my birthday. Yay! I'm so excited, you guys. It is my birthday. I am years old. I'm just kidding. I'm 29, and I'm very proud of it because I do not look my age. Hair flip. <laughs> I am 25. And like my husband says, I just keep getting finer and finer. Mm. So I just wanted to come and tell you guys, first of all, thank you so much for everyone who's been blowing up my Instagram and my Facebook and my Snapchat. Like I love the love and I appreciate you guys. And it's good to have that while I'm still here on earth because who knows? Like nobody knows what the future holds. So thank y'all for showing me so much love. I appreciate it. I love y'all to life. And um, I'm excited. Like 29 is here. And I'm not doing anything for my birthday. Like no lie. <laughs> my family, they were so sweet. They threw me a surprise party yesterday. And it was so intimate. Like it was just us. Like me, my husband's mom. Of course, when I say my family, I'm talking about my husband's side of the family. My um, immediate family, I don't have any here. All of my family is in South Carolina. But um, they treat me like family. And to them, I'm their family. We don't do like stepmom and mother-in-law like no it's just mom and cousin and auntie and it was so much love and I really appreciate them for that because um you know people don't owe you anything nobody has to be nice to you and time and time again they've shown that they are more than just my in-laws and I really appreciate them for that and I love y'all because I know y'all watching <laughs> I love y'all and thank y'all so much. We had pizza and cake and chicken and um, surprisingly I didn't have any wine but I'm making up for that now <laughs> because hubby is about to take me someplace and I have no clue where he's taking me so another surprise and I don't have any children today which brings me to the other point of this video. Things that I'm going to stop doing now that I am 29. <laughs> And some people might say, well, why don't you just wait until you turn 30 to make this video? Because, you know, 30 is like a big milestone. But for me, I like to do stuff ahead of the game. Like, I like to be pre-prepared. Is that a word? Pre-prepared? Anyway, so today I spent most of my day, like, creating a vision board for the rest of 2018. Most of it was for the rest of August because I feel like I accomplish more when I do like short term goals. So the majority of it was for the rest of August, but I did put some things on there that I want to complete in 2018. And um, one of the main things was uh, to stop, and this is a short term goal, to kind of stop stressing over the little stuff. Like I am, a little OCD when it comes to having certain things in my house clean like I can deal with a, a you know a room that's a tad bit junky maybe you have clothes or shoes on the floor but like kitchen and bathroom uh-uh living room common area has to be spotless and I tend to get like a little anxiety when I walk into my house and my stuff is not together like my kids are like okay mom slide off the hinges let's just wash the dishes <laughs> oh my god I'm turning into my mother so I'm going to stop stressing over things like that and not to say that I'm just going to let my house go or, you know, let the kids run amok and not have chores, but I'm going to scale back a little bit on how much I fuss about that type of stuff not being done and just go with the flow a little bit more and not be so uptight. That's one of the things that I'm going to stop doing. The other thing was holding on to stuff. This is what I mean. I cleaned out my closet uh, about a week, maybe a week and a half ago, because I said I wanted to do it before my birthday. And of course, I threw out like old clothes and old shoes. But I've cleaned out my closet at least once a year for like forever. And one of the things that I realized is that I still hold on to certain clothing items, like these pair of pants that I have. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. I, I know that I'm probably not going to get into those pants. But I said time and time again, I'm going to hold on to these pants because I remember I wore these pants back in so-and-so day when I did so-and-so. And I'm not giving detail because I want you guys to input your own memory or of when you had this thing and how you used this thing 
so it'll help you get rid of it and one of the things i had to say to myself was it's okay to hold on to the memories but i don't physically have to hold on to something that reminds me of it at the end of the day when i die nobody's gonna put those jeans in the casket with me nobody's gonna put my old venom vixen shirt in the casket with me and they're not gonna bury me in it y'all better not bury me in that shirt <laughs> i loved being a vixen but i do not want to be buried in my shirt and nobody's gonna bury me with those things so like it like certain crop tops are like really cute and i could still fit them because i wore them with high waist you know but i wore them with high waist stuff and it's like oh my gosh i'm still gonna wear this but it's like do i really want to be out in public with my kids looking like that and that's just me like if you can if you have the body for it and you want to rock the hell out of a crop top do it like more power to you but not not i said the cat i had to let some of that stuff go um like journals and diaries that i had from high school and you know the memories were so awesome and i read over the stuff and i still remember like writing it and the memories come back to me when i read it but what i say is this i have these memories forever because they're in my mind and i'm going to keep them in my heart so i don't need the physical evidence of the memory i was able to get rid of a lot of stuff with that type of thought and i'm happy about it i'm glad about it and you feel like a sense of relief when you've let go of the clutter that's one thing that i said I, i'm gonna stop doing i'm a low-key hoarder y'all better not tell nobody i said that i'm a low-key hoarder so i said i'm gonna stop you know holding on to certain things so let it go like elsa let it go okay yeah just let it go <laughs> And another thing I did put on my vision board was travel. Everybody says they want to travel, but nobody is really doing it. And I'm one of those people that has these friends. Don't take this personal, but you know who you are. When it's time to plan a trip, like everybody's down, everybody's ready to go. People got their money together, we book, and then the next thing you know, one person falls off. Four months before the trip, another two people fall off. Month before the trip, two more people are gone. And the next thing you know, you either going on this trip by yourself or you going with somebody else that another friend invited that you don't really know like that. And what I said that I was gonna start doing is more travel with my family, meaning my husband and my children because they can't bail on me like they have no choice my husband's career is going awesome my business is taking off with go best friend and things are running very smooth to the point where we can afford more travel and when i say travel i'm not talking like disney world travel because we do live in florida so it's like maybe two hours away and that's an easy go-to but i want my children to experience the world and see the world which is one thing that i never got to do as a child or an adult and so not only do i want to experience that and my husband does but we want to offer that to our children plane rides and boat rides and things of that nature just experience life outside of where we live here and i think that's important for our culture and for them you know growing up to be able to see different parts of the world so travel was one thing that i put on my vision board that's like a 2018 finisher like lots of travel yeah those are pretty much the three things that i have said that i was going to stop and start doing um now that i'm 29 and i'm glad to be kicking it off i'm glad that it's my birthday hey because i'm gonna tell y'all something i have had one hell of a week and when you you have a hell of a week leading up to like something big my birthday is big yes it's almost like this is just not how i planned or thought that any of this was gonna happen and even though i'm not doing anything i didn't plan anything so it's like I really can't be upset and I am really thrilled at the fact that my family decided to have a party for little old me. I'm so grateful and I love them so much. Like they are my heart. They are taking care of my children right now and hubby and I are about to get dressed and go out. So thank you guys who have watched. Thank you for those of you who have liked, loved, and subscribed and for the birthday wishes. Be sure to hit that thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, and let your girl know what you like, what you love. I appreciate all of y'all. I love y'all. And happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to me. Thank you, guys.